Hi, I'm Jess, and today we're going to be making some pickled okra. We're going to pickle lots of things today, but we'll start with the okra first. Uh, and I use this cookbook, The Joy of Pickling, for most of the pickles that I make um, by Linda, Linda Zedrick. It's a really good one. And um, okra, the best place to find it is the Asian farmer's market. Um, and I already cut it up just to save some time, but here's what it looks like. Um, real quickly, I'll go through the recipe, but you should probably just get the book if you actually want to make it. Um, it's four large or er, garlic cloves sliced, one garlic clove per jar. Um, I put in some hot peppers. I used um, arbol peppers and um, whole dill seeds, which um, I don't know if you can see this or not. They're a little bit weird and they're not super easy to find. I had to find them at the co-op, um, which you should probably go to a co-op too. So, and. Um, cider vinegar, water, and pickling salt, which I have together, and I have it boiling right now. So the step is first you put your produce in the clean jars, and then you put the hot boiling brine in the jars too, and then we're going to cap it and boil it, and that's as hard or easy as pickles are. So we usually pickle most of the vegetables that we eat in the winter um, when they're in season and that way we don't have to import stuff from Chile just because we want some fresh produce. It's cheaper and healthier and better for the environment. So here we are, we're just putting the brine on. Um, it gets kind of hot in the kitchen. Oops. You want a half an inch of headspace um, at the top to allow enough air to escape from the jars when the seals seal. So we will just continue on with this and we'll show you when they're done. Okay. So we have our um, canning lids. It's a two-piece system um, with the bands and the lids. They don't actually need to boil for sterilization per se. They just need to be hot because you don't want to put a cold metal thing on a hot glass jar with hot vegetables and brine or you will have some breakage going on eventually. Um, the other thing is, is I had all these okra stuff beautifully into the jars, and then um, when I put the hot brine in, it like made this one pop up. So I guess there's one too few okra on that one. That might affect the ceiling of the jar, but that's all right. You can always just put it in the fridge. Anytime a jar doesn't seal properly after it's boiled, you can just put it in the fridge until you use it. So we're gonna just put on the lids here, like this. They're hot, so a little warm. Um, it's not meant to stick or anything like that. It just you just lay it on top, and then when you screw the bands on top, you just want them to be hand tight. It's hot. Oh, this is a bummer when this happens. The water kind of vacuum the two lips together. When you open it up, boiling hot water comes out from between the lips. So be careful when that happens, it will happen. Okay, on the bands, and this is about how tight you want it. You just want to make sure you don't cross thread it like that, but twist so it's like that tight, just a teeny tiny bit, not even hand tight. The whole purpose is just to hold the band on the jar until it has the opportunity to seal when you boil it, which we're going to do next. We have the heat turned well, all the way on, and so as soon as that gets to a rapid boil, then we'll boil these buggers for a little bit here. And if I had to guess, I'd say there's a good chance that one may not seal because the okras are pushing the lid off, but that's okay, we'll still give it a go. I'm hoping I like this because I don't really usually like okra, but I like everything else that I've pickled, so see how it goes. But when it's in season and cheap, you gotta just give it a try. There we go. Alright, we're all set. Water. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So our water is boiling in the um, canning hot water bath. Um, this gets really hot because it's metal, so watch out. I always, uh, let's see if this works. I always burn my hands doing that. 
we go. Okay, so we're gonna put the okra in, um, and then while we're waiting for that to boil and heat process, we will put the lids on the green peppers. You don't want to drop them in, you just want to put them in gently. And uh, it's best if they're not knocking into each other once it starts boiling in the pan or you can have breakage. Which I have had and it's a little bit messy, so I would avoid if possible. And we're just going to boil these now for 15 minutes. So we'll be back after that. Okay, so the timer just beeped, and we're going to take the okra out of the boiling water. Again, we want to be careful. I'm going to get a hot pad because, you know, I have lots of canning to do, and I don't want to burn my hands. Um, so here we go. I'm going to take it out, and um, then it's just a matter of the okra's cooling off. Um, I always like to have some sort of, like, pan or a box or something to put them in so that I can get them as far away from the stove as possible to let them cool quickly. Here they are. Um, a lot of water collects on the lid of the thing, but if you try to like tip the jar off to get it off, you're either going to drop the jar or goof up the seal. So it's easier, I mean, it's going to evaporate within about 40 seconds anyway. So you're better off just to leave it. And here we are. You can see that. Um, there's a little water boiling and the brine is still boiling and stuff, so it'll take a while for it to cool off. And so just put them in the box and we'll get them out of here. And uh, real quickly then we'll also put the green pepper strips in the brine, or in the boiling water because it's already boiling. One consideration when figuring out how much water to put in the boiling pot is that you're going to have a lot of displacement if you're putting a lot of jars in. So then when suddenly you put less jars in, you need to make sure that you still have at least an inch of water boiling on top of the jars. So we're going to add, you know, you know, actually we're good for this one, so we'll just leave it. we go. Um, these ones go on for 10 minutes, so we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. And there we have it. Is that okay on the stove? Yeah, it's just what, the salt or whatever it is, it's just burning off. Okay. We're cool. Right now. Do you have to sterilize them or something? You know, I'm just putting granola in these, so these I don't. You know what? The answer is no. You don't have to sterilize them because when you put a, when you put jars in the boiling water, that'll kill anything that's too terrible. So you just need to clean them out so that there's no anything Fires in them or anything. Yeah. Okay, cool.